this is a delivery that works really great for those special birthdays when you want something to really send a fun message. This is going to be our vulture or buzzer, depending on where you're from, what you want to call him. And as you can see, he's going to take a few balloons and a little bit of time, but I think you'll find him well worth the effort. The people will love it. I've got a white 260. I'm going to play with about 10 to 12 inches of it. We're probably not going to use even all of that. A black 260 with about a 3 inch tail on the end of it. We're not going to use all of that either. I've got three yellow 260s each with about a four inch tail on the end of them. A red 260 with about a four inch tail on the end of it. We're not going to use all of it. A black 11 inch round inflated to about nine or ten inches. A chocolate, a fashion chocolate 260 with about a four inch, three and a half to four inch tail on the end of it. And then a fashion chocolate 360 blown up just about all the way. These two, the two chocolates, are going to make a base for our vulture to stand on. I'll go ahead and make it first. So we'll start by taking our 360, bring the two ends around, and we're going to tie them together forming a large circle. Just like that. Now you want to find the midpoint of your circle and twist it there. So you've basically got two large bubbles roughly the same size. Now we're going to take our Fashion Chocolate 260 and you'll want to take and twist about a half inch bubble in the end make that into a pinch twist and then we're going to twist that into one of these two points on our 360 and then you're going to want to measure so that when it pulls it in it makes it sort of an oval shape so it will stand up better. So measure so that you get like that, twist it and then lock it in, and then we're going to make another half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist as well. This is going to be our base, and because of the size of the vulture, this is why I do this with the three stages because it's going to be pretty, got to be pretty sturdy. Now, once you've got this, you're going to want to come up on this one about two and a half to three inches. Put a little twist in it, a half inch twist and then a pinch twist there. And then in a minute we'll do the same on this other side but we have to wait so we can slide our vulture's feet. So we're going to pause and set our base aside. Come back to that in a moment. Now we're going to start by taking our 11 inch round and our black 260. What you want to do is start on the end of your black 260 and I'll go ahead and tie it onto this, secure it. So tie the two loose nozzles together and then your 260 you make two half inch bubbles, each of those into a pinch twist. So there's our first pinch twist, second one, make that a pinch twist as well. Now this next part is kind of important to measure the right size so that it stays in place. So you want to follow it around the 11 inch round till you get to the other side opposite of your other bubbles. And then mark that spot and then let go for a minute. So you've got that bubble there that will go around just like that. Now you're going to want to make two more little pinch twists. So make your first half inch bubble. Make that a pinch twist. Your second. Make that into a pinch twist as well. And then you're going to lay it back position those on opposite sides there. Sorry if I'm moving around so much. There we go. And then you want to lay it back up along and you want to make sure this stays tight so that doesn't pop out so easily. Bring it back up to your top two pinch twists there. Measure it and then twist it in to those top two pinch twists just like that. And that's going to represent our vulture's wings. Pop that excess off and secure that in there. And that's going to be his wings, his body and his wings. So this is his body, his fat tummy, and his wings. And then we're going to set that aside for a moment. Well, let's go ahead and make his feet. So we're going to take our two, two of our yellow 260s. And what you want to do is go down, make about a three inch bubble. And then make two pinch twists. So make your half inch bubble, make a pinch twist. 
another half inch bubble. Make a pinch first, and now we're going to make one of his feet out of this one. And what you want to do, it's got to be big enough that it'll wrap around a 260, so if you want to go ahead and measure it, you can. Kind of mark where it goes to the, below it, and then come back above it. Put that back aside there. So you can see we're going to get about a three to three and a half inch bubble. And then make a note on the back side. Just like that. And then again, we need one more. Same size. And then this one, you'll need to tuck through to ensure that it gets locked in. And then come around to the other side and make one more coming back up to those two pinch twists. So you've basically got, let's pop the excess off, a little four bubble cluster there. And what that's going to represent is one of his claws. What you'll do is you'll pull one of these back out from the back here and slide one through and you can see how that sort of makes it look like a foot there. That'll help him hang on to that base that we made earlier. So we want to repeat the process again. Let's make sure we get them the same size. Let's do a pinch twist. Get our claws about the same size there. And then repeat the process again, just like before. Or bubble effect there. Secure that. Now we've got two claws and what we're going to do is take these two ends that we have and just tie them together. And then we're going to take his two claws and you may notice that it really doesn't matter which end you've got here, it works the same either way. But I'll go ahead and take and put these on the end. It's not attached around me. We had our knot attached to these two here. And I'll come to this bottom end, and you just want to take and twist them around one of those pinch twists, and lock them into place. And then if you turn those two ear twists up, they'll kind of hide it a little bit. Now you've got the feet for our vulture, and as you can see, he's going to be rather large. We haven't even added his neck yet, and you can see how big he's already getting to be. So we're going to set that aside for a moment. Now we're going to take and make his head and neck, so we're going to start with our red 260. And we're going to come up here and make about a two and a half inch bubble. And we're going to make another bubble the same size. And grab that knot and twist it with it there, twist it together. And then make a little half inch bubble and a pinch twist at the end of that. Just like that. Now we're going to make another bubble the same size as these and make a three bubble roll through or a bird body. Just roll it right through there. Pause with that. I'm going to grab our yellow 260, and what you want to make is about a three inch bubble, another three inch bubble, and then twist those together, and then take that and just bring it down and make two fold twists. Twist. Uh oh, it appears that this one has a hole in it. Fortunately, we have excess bubble, so what I'm going to do, pop the, egg, the part with the hole off, retie it. There we go. And repeat that. Make our two bubbles. Twist that in. And as I was doing before, bring that twisted point down to make two fold twists, just like that. Now we're going to take that and lock those two fold twists in at the base of this is going to be our head. So I'll just come in from the back, bring them around, cross them over once to lock them in place and position one on either side. And now we're going to make our beak with what's left of the um, 260 here. So figure out about how big you want your beak. I'll make it about two and a half, maybe three inches. And then when I make this, I'll make the bottom one slightly shorter than the top one. And that pulls his beak down and gives it that sort of curved effect. Just like that. We'll pop this excess yellow off. Just like that. Secure that up in there. And as you can see, his head is beginning to take shape. Now we're going to take our white that we had and give him some eyes. We'll kind of soften this up. It works a lot better if this is kind of soft. There we go. 
Now we're going to take our knot end and twist it in around his beak a couple of times, secure it. Then you just want to lay it alongside his head and go up to that pinch twist we put on top, go around it, and then come right back down again. I'm going to try to get those two bubbles about the same size so it's not bug-eyed. That can be a challenge sometimes. There we go. Twist that in there, and then we're going to pop this excess off. And there's the beginning. There's his head there. Put some eyes on there so you can see where we're going. Oops, I just wrote on the cheek. There we go. Just like that there. Now, it just occurred to me that I made a, a minor mistake here, so we're going to correct that real quick. That excess white, hopefully you haven't already let go of it. There, I just reinflated a portion that I had left over because we're going to need that. So, now you want to figure out about how long you want your neck. We're going to make this one. What's that, about eight inches or so? We'll take this excess off here. Just like that. We're going to get our body back over here. Now we're going to take the knot at the bottom of this and attach it in to that double pinch twist on top. That'll give us an attaching point for his neck. Just like that. And then we're going to take this white. And what you want to do with this, make a little pinch twist on the end of it there. Take that off. And now we're going to come in and measure so it fits snugly around the red six, one, 260 that's his neck. Right. Helps if you keep that pinch twist in there a lot. Just like that. We'll go around his neck. You want to keep it kind of snug and then get back to that pinch twist and just twist into it there. We're going to pop this excess off. And this gives us that white tuft of feathers that, well, buzzards have at the base of their neck. This one's being a little ornery. Let's tie those two ends together. And we can put our pinch twist back in there. And as you can see, now we've got the white at the base of his neck there. Give you a good look at him real quick. Okay, now we're back down. Okay. Now we've got our base over here. We're going to bring that into play. And what you want to do. Just take your feet, like I showed before, pull one of the four bubbles out the back, and then we're going to slide him onto this base here, just like that. And then do the same with the other foot. And then once you get both of his feet on there, just like that, now you're going to come out the other side here, to where it's just above this pinch twist in the 360s. Make another pinch twist so it'll turn down. And then you want another bubble the same size as this one. Twist down into that pinch twist you have there in the base. And then pop this excess off. Secure that. And then once you get that in there, sometimes you have to work it to get it to stand. And then he should stand up. Pretty much like that. Well, he's wanting to lean just a little bit. I'm take these pinch twists and you can kind of turn that. And if you work with him, you can generally get him to stand up pretty good. Sometimes you may have to add a glue dot or something to get him to stay where you want him. And then you can add whatever you want to the base, some black roses, black flowers, whatever. So there he is on his base. So let's let you get a look at the rest of him. 
This guy's leaning a little bit. I think he's ready for a nap. There's the whole look. Back to the feet. And there's our vulture.